How does Ascaris lumbricoides infection affect peripheral blood eosinophilia? Historical facts. Ascaris lumbricoides has been recognized for centuries as a cause of intestinal parasitism, with evidence dating back to ancient civilizations. It continues to be a significant public health concern, especially in developing nations. Symptoms. Infected individuals may experience a range of symptoms, from asymptomatic to abdominal pain, bloating, nausea, vomiting, and intestinal obstruction. Pulmonary symptoms like cough and wheezing can occur during the larval migratory phase. Diagnostic considerations. For diagnosis, eosinophilia is often an early indicator but tends to decrease as the parasites mature into adult worms. Confirmation usually involves stool microscopy to identify ascaris eggs. Other advanced diagnostic methods may include serological tests and imaging studies like ultrasound or CT scans, especially if intestinal obstruction is suspected. Case presentation, eosinophilia in early ascaris lumbricoides infection. A patient presents with abdominal discomfort, bloating, and elevated peripheral blood eosinophilia. The eosinophilia is noted to be more prominent shortly after ingestion of contaminated food, coinciding with the larval development of Ascaris lumbricoides. In contrast, eosinophilia subsides as the worms reach adulthood. Statistics. Ascaris lumbricoides infections are most prevalent in tropical and subtropical regions, such as Sub-Saharan Africa, Latin America, and parts of Asia. Endemic areas. Ascaris lumbricoides is primarily endemic in tropical and subtropical regions, particularly areas with poor sanitation like parts of Sub-Saharan Africa, Latin America, South Asia, and Southeast Asia. Where to find more information? For more in-depth information, consult resources like the World Health Organization or Centers for Disease Control and Prevention.